yet another Amazon haul. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I bought a few beauty products from Amazon. I thought that would be helpful for you guys, especially for oily skin girls. And here I am with the Amazon beauty haul. Without any further ado, let's move on to the video. Coming to the basic product that is a face wash. I bought the Himalaya so Purifying Neem Face Wash. This face wash is so popular when I was in college. Everybody, all girls used to this product. Either this or the uh, Clean and Clear uh, face wash. These two face washes were so much popular during those days so going back to the memories i felt that i should definitely use this product again and that's why i bought this himalayas and neem face wash this is a gel based face wash which is very good for oily skin people if you belong to the oily skin type this is a must try for you girls i'm not sure whether it prevents pimples it claims it prevents pimples but i'm not sure but i would say if oily skin people use the right product according to their skin type then definitely it will prevent it may prevent pimple so this is a gel face wash and not cream based, it's suitable for oily skin type, a dry skin, stay away. Moving on to the second basic product of a skincare routine that is the facial scrub. I bought two scrubs this time. This one is something I use since college. This is the Neutrogena Deep Clean Black and Eliminating a Daily Scrub. And this one is the M Caffeine and Naked and Draw Espresso Coffee Face Scrub. I have never used anything from this brand M Caffeine, though you heard a lot of good reviews about it. This Neutrogena scrub is a gentle mild scrub for daily use, though I do not recommend to scrub your face every day. Thrice for oily skin and twice for dry skin is enough, but, but this one says it is a daily scrub, but I don't use it every day. This one is a walnut a scrub. This is infused with coffee and walnut. If you have dry and sensitive skin, stay away from this scrub. I won't say this is too harsh, but this has walnut beads to it. If you do not like walnut, stay away. But I am someone who likes walnut scrub because I have clogged pores on my nose. So I kind of like walnut scrub. I don't have any problem with that. So it smells like cookies, cream and cookies. I badly want to eat this. It smells so delicious. It is a gel based walnut scrub. It is not a cream based walnut scrub. Again, suitable for oily skin type. This one is suitable for all skin types, I would say. This one is also again a gel based product with milder beads added to it. While scrubbing my face, I don't even feel that I'm using a scrub. That's how it feels. It feels gentle. It feels mild. The fragrance is not too much. So these are the two scrubs I bought from Amazon. Moving on. To the third basic product of a skincare is the uh, toner. I bought the Blossom Cultures Aroma Magic Aromatic uh, Skin Toner, which tightens the pores and revives the skin. This one particularly says it is for oily skin. This toner uh, smells minty, and uh, and it also has a uh, I don't know guys how to tell you, but I'm not liking the fragrance of it. It's not like 100% mint fragrance. There's something added to it which I do not like. The fragrance is a problem with this one. It has no color added to it. This is a transparent toner. This does not make my oily skin even more oilier. It does not make my skin greasy or it does not make my skin heavier, which is a very good thing. And that's why this toner says it is specially formulated for oily skin. And which is true, guys. Other than the fragrance, I have no problem with this one. This is the Aroma Magic Skin Toner. So now, skincare is over. Moving on to the makeup items. I bought the Maybelline's Fit Me Concealer in the shade 40 Caramel. I've already used the concealer 50 Cafe from this range. The Fit Me range is so good, guys. The concealer blends like a dream. If you are a beginner, struggling to find your concealer shade or struggling to use a concealer definitely try this fit me's concealer the shade 50 cafe is same as my skin tone and this shade 40 caramel is an highlighting concealer for me i bought a foundation that is slightly darker to my skin tone so if i use an highlighting concealer it will kind of merge and look good and that's why i bought this fit me's highlighting concealer in the shade 40 caramel the next one is an interesting product you guys this is the swiss beauty's ultimate eyeshadow palette in the shade is 06. I bought this eyeshadow palette only because I was about to travel and I do not want to carry those long eyeshadow palettes which obviously doesn't fit into my makeup bag and that's when I searched on Amazon for compact eyeshadow palettes which has a black shade into it and guess what guys this is so good this is not at all expensive but the quality that it delivers is so good guys it has warm earthy tones to it along with a light black shade it has seven matte shades and two shimmer shades 
This palette is a mix of everyday colors and also you can use this for your night party because it has the shimmer shade. You can mix a matte and shimmer to get the party look out of it. I would say this is a must try. Moving on to the last product of the haul is the Sugars Matte as Hell Crayon Lipsticks. I bought two shades. One is the 13 Murphy Brown and the other one is the 01 Scarlet O'Hara. These are the two shades that I bought. I previously had the shade Baby Houseman from this range and I really love the pigmentation, the formula of this lip crayons. They are so good. The longevity is also very, very, very good. Even if you eat and drink, this is gonna stay all day long. And that's why I picked two more shades from this range. 13 Murphy Brown is a nice dark brown shade. It is not too dark brown but wearable brown. It is as a red undertone to it so you can also use this for wedding season. I used this for my trip to Ooty and it looks super good for that weather. And also these lip crayons does not dry out your lips. Scarlet O'Hara is a nice red color. If you like red with warm undertones then definitely you can go for the Scarlet O'Hara. Scarlet O'Hara is a red with a warm undertone shade. If you don't like that bright red shade or pure red shade, you can go for this warm undertone red shade. This is not a very bright shade. This is a muted red shade suitable for all skin tones. Both of these two shades will suit all skin tones and this one Murphy Brown will look fabulous on dusky or deep dusky skin tone. So that's it guys. With that we finish the Amazon Beauty Haul. Until then I will see you in my next amazing video. This is me Deepthi signing off. Bye bye. Take care. Do subscribe to Beauty Pit Easy for more such videos. Thanks for watching.